We used to burn black rocks for heat and throw the leftovers away. What seemed like useless ash and coke would become the seed of a new world. Tinkers found that a strange little crystal could pluck voices out of thin air. That crystal behaved like a gate, letting tiny currents pass one way more than the other. For the first time, we had material that was not quite metal, not quite insulator, but something in between. Engineers shaped these crystals into diodes, tiny one-way valves for electric current. Then came the real breakthrough, put two diode-like regions together, and you get a switch. The transistor became a tiny nucleus of logic, the basic on-off heartbeat of the digital age. Early on, a single transistor was a solid little part you could hold in your hand. Today, that same fingertip of silicon can hide billions of those tiny switches. We squeezed, but what's filled a room into a sliver smaller than a fingernail. Your phone holds more transistor power than the computers that guided rockets to the moon. Those little switches now live in cars, hospitals, satellites, game consoles, almost everything that hums. We live in a planet-sized circuit. Now, a world that runs on tiny on off whispers. For decades, we doubled the number of transistors on a chip again and again by making them smaller. But you can only shrink so far before you run into atoms themselves. That old rule called Moore's Law cannot run forever. One day, the shrinking stops. When we reach that edge, we will need new trips, new materials, new physics to go further. All from a strange little crystal in the ashes. Now woven into almost everything we do. What we once burned and threw away now helps drive a wired thinking world. And we're only just getting started. Subscribe for more content like this.